Hey guys, Corey Jones here, Garden Girl with Two Peas in a Bucket, with the next installment of 213 and 2013, a weekly video series where by the end of 2013 you'll have 213 creative prompts to help you get your scrapbooking started. I really love color. I know I'll always start with a neutral background, but the color is just what makes me so excited about scrapbooking. So this use of color, it really leads me into my first prompt, which is to choose a bright, happy color scheme for your page. I've pulled out a bunch of different stuff. I don't always use everything that I pull out, but I want to make sure that I've got a nice variety. So here I've pulled out the Kelly Perky stamp, a bunch of the new My Mind's Eye collections, all of these incredible candy dots, which are one of my new favorite, favorite scrapbooking items, a variety of thickers, some fun mists that coordinate with the papers. Um, I also have these just lots of different brads and stickers, word phrases, all of those things are really fun to get to use. Then the papers I've picked out are all from Studio Calico's Darling Deer collection. Um, there's also some from Pebbles, and then the rest of them are really the My Girl collection from My Mind's Eye. They all have these great, bright, vibrant colors, and I just love these stars. It's a fun way to get started. Finally, I also grabbed this great, vibrant washi tape from Freckled Fawn. I love this picture of my kids with the neighbors and how bright and punchy it is. It's going to look great with all the supplies that I've chosen. I started my page with adding color. So the first thing I did was just to layer washi tape strips down the side of my page. I didn't look for any specific order. I just laid them down randomly. I wasn't trying to get them into any type of pattern. All of these colors are great because they're all in the photo of the kids. The green grass and there was yellow highlights in one of the kids' shirts, blue shorts, And some pink. Yes, my favorite pink. So I'm just going to layer all of these strips of washi tape just randomly to a good color. Then just to add a little bit of something else besides just the washi tape, I decided to just draw a little bit with my mists. These are all mist new Mr. Huey's colors. And then continue on with different washi tape until the whole side was done. My next prompt is to use vellum. I had this great piece of vellum with white chevrons on it from Studio Calico's Darling Deer collection. I ran that through my cameo having cut out the word friends and then had this great idea that I was going to lay it on the washi tape and still be able to see the washi tape but still be able to see the friends and it didn't work out that way. I could totally see the colors of the washi tape and I couldn't see the vellum at all so I decided it needed to be mounted on something a little bit more bold. So I chose this My Mind's Eye paper, which is the most beautiful blue, that would really make it so the friends stood out. I really liked this strip, but once I got it on there, I just felt like it needed a little bit, a little bit more texture. So this leads me into my third prompt, which is to incorporate stitching, either hand stitching or machine stitching. I love the look of hand stitching, but it takes too long for me. <laughs> I do it sometimes, but I get kind of lazy and want to go quickly. So I use my sewing machine all the time. So on this one, all I did was is I distressed the edges and then ran the strip through my sewing machine two times. So it's actually a double, a double stitch going around. Then laid the vellum friends on top and I'm going to use my tiny attacher to staple it down so that I don't have any adhesive bleeding through the vellum and also so that I can use it still as layering. I've got the general layout now, but I want to make sure I add some more of these awesome papers, like this star paper. I didn't know how I was going to incorporate it, but I knew I had to incorporate it because I just love it so much. So I decided to use it as a photo mat for my photo. And then also this great My Mind's Eye polka dot paper. I just love the colors. They were so great with the great pink and yellow and blue. So I wanted to make sure I got a strip of that in there too. I don't normally adhere things down this soon in my process, but I got real frustrated with 
how things were moving around. So I decided to just be bold and go ahead and make a decision and stick it down. So that's what I did. I wanted to make sure to pull in some more of that light green from the washi tape. So I just found this great my mind's eye B side of one of the papers and I made a little photo corner for it and then also punched these stars into it so that I can just use it for more layering. Something I do to make sure that my title is in the right place is I just stick it to my ruler, the thickers to my ruler just a little bit. That way I can move it around and see where I really want it instead of having to try and peel it up. And when I had it down here, it just looked like it needed some extra color underneath. So I added a strip of the Yellow Star washi tape and it just really, it really just really set the letters off. Of course, also then always run it through my sewing machine afterwards because the last thing I ever want is thickers laying in the bottom of my page protector. Just for a little extra pink, I added some Mr. Huey's and because I'm too impatient to let it dry, I used my roll of paper towels to just kind of soak up the excess. Now it's really just time for me to embellish my page. So I'm adding this little chipboard heart from Basic Gray and a date strip sticker from My Mind's Eye. There's also this little sticker that says this is the best day ever, which I think is so fitting because for these kids it probably was at that point in time. I'm also using the Good Stuff stamp from the Kelly Perky exclusive stamp set. I'm going to stamp it right onto the washi tape, so I want to make sure I use permanent ink. The stays on works great. Then I'm adding this little tab, which is wood veneer tab from Studio Calico, and then just lots of fun brads. All these different My Mind's Eye brads are just so colorful. This one had the little tab, another best day ever saying phrase on there, so it's a little fun. And then just brads here and there. I like brads. I think they kind of get overlooked sometimes, but I do like to pull mine out. I did use rub-ons to add my children's initials to the page. I put them right on the photo actually. I'm going to add more brads and other fun things. Here I just wanted the word friends. I loved how colorful it was, so I just cut that part off, stuck it right down. And I'm going to go through and add more brads just here and there. One thing that I did think was kind of cool was the little stars that had been, I had punched out earlier. They look just like little star confetti. So I thought that'd be kind of fun just to kind of sprinkle those around in with the, the pink mist that I had splattered on earlier. I used a little glue pen to get those down. I have this little container next to my scrapbook table that when I'm done with a product that I've used a bunch but there's still a little bit left, I go ahead and I throw it in there. That way, if I really like the product, then I can maybe go back in and get it. But I, it's not really enough for me to keep or put back away. So that's where I went, I went digging in that container and I found this word sweet from Pink Paisley and I just thought it was perfect for this page. This leads me to my last prompt, which is candy dots. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite embellishments of all time at this point. I just think that they are so much fun. They just add that little bit of color, um, just a little bit of dimension. Everything about them for me is great. I It's really sad, but I probably have bought every single variation of these candy dots. Um, and I was so excited when my mind's eye had released all sorts of new colors and new packages of these at the latest CHA. As soon as they were available, I snatched up every single one that there was because I know I'm going to use them all and um, they're just great. They're, I think it's really cool too because they're kind of dimensional confetti, which confetti is so cool right now anyhow, so just kind of adds to that trend. 
So I just encourage you to get some candy dots and use your candy dots. They're a fun, easy embellishment. You can work them into just about any page design and with all the different colors available, it's really easy. They're great for girls, boys, grown-ups, kids. It doesn't matter. They're great. I'm sure you'll love them. I did want to make sure I got a little bit of journaling on this page. I told you in my first video, I'm not a big journaler. I scrapbook because I love the process and the products and because it's an art form to me. I also just don't have a problem with having a great looking photo album, so that's why I do it. But I am trying to be better, so I did record this. Thank goodness for sweet friends to spend the summer with. My girls love having two good friends live right next door. And with that, my page is complete. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of 213 and 2013. You now have four more creative prompts to get your scrapbooking going. Choose a bright, happy color scheme, to use vellum, to incorporate stitching, and to have fun with candy dots. My challenge for you this week is to use one or more of these creative prompts to get your scrapbooking started. This is Corey Jones, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket. Have a great week.